Welcome back to Gender Affirming Voice 101. This is part two, all about your vocal anatomy. Hi, I'm Renee, I'm a gender affirming voice teacher, and this is part two of my eight part series on the basics of gender affirming voice. Follow, save, and leave a comment so you don't miss any parts. Your vocal folds, also called your vocal cords, are housed inside your larynx, which is in your neck right here. You can usually feel the vocal folds vibrate if you place your hand gently on the front of your neck and make a sound. Ah. Uh... Your larynx sits atop your trachea and is suspended from your hyoid bone in a cage of muscle. It can move up and down, such as when you swallow or yawn, but it can also be manipulated side to side. <laughs> All the muscles inside and outside your larynx are activated during yawning, swallowing, coughing, and speaking. They control the pitch of your voice, how breathy it sounds, and more. Above your larynx, is the vocal tract, which consists of your throat, your mouth, and your nose. Changing the size and shape of the vocal tract changes the color of the sound produced by the vocal folds. You do this every day when you create different vowel sounds. E -a -a -o. <laughs> when we do gender affirming voice work, we modify the size and shape of the vocal tract the height of the larynx, the configuration of the vocal folds, and more. This might sound like a lot, but you do all this already in everyday speech. Just like with any kind of exercise, with gender affirming voice work, you will be using your muscles in a new way, but these muscles haven't been dormant. You use them all the time. That's it for part two of Gender Affirming Voice 101. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. In part three, we're gonna look at all things resonance. Follow along so you don't miss that, and I hope this helps.